second part of creating complex line types in Autodesk AutoCAD. In this second part, we're going to use special characters to create three unique ditch flow lines. So again, I have my line type in there, which is 1.5 units in length, and I can measure that to show you the distance from the endpoint of here to the endpoint of here is 1.5. And now that depends on your company standard. So what we're going to do first, we're going to type mtext. And keep in mind, we're still using the same unique style, line types. You want to create a style that's unique and not going to be duplicated by anybody else. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit symbol. And what I want to do is hit other because I want to use a special character. So what I'm going to do is come down here and find a line type or, or something that depicts an arrow. So how about that for a ditch? I'm going to select, copy, right click, paste. That looks pretty good. Let's do this three times. Let's find three symbols. I can do it several different ways, but I'll just do it that way. Double click. I'm going to right click, symbol, other, and I'm going to go to my character map again. Again, I'm using the aerial font. I'm going to find another arrow, some kind of an arrow in here. How about this one? Sort open, select, copy, paste. So there's a second arrow, a little bit smaller than the first one. And let's find one more. Symbol, other, up into the character map. And then we actually have, we'll go the other way with it. Well, we don't really need to do that. So let's find something a little unique. How about that one? Select, copy, close my character map, and I'm going to paste. So normally I would take these three objects, place them in the center of the line, and then copy and paste. But instead of copy and paste in Notepad, we're going to explode these. And we're going to copy my line down three times. One, two, three. Now what I want to do is make sure this depicts the middle center, the actual font, to see exactly where that middle center is on that font. You see it's like there? It's not exactly the middle center, but we're going to visually make it that way. Let me turn my ortho off. Put that in there. Change this to middle center. That one looks pretty good, and I can type midpoint for this. That one's right on the money. And then the last one, middle center. Some fonts at react differently to where their actual middle center point is. See, this one's a little bit off, too. So we're going to hit the midpoint here, and we're going to visually just place it in there. So now you can see that they're a little bit off. So we're just going to pull this one up, turn my ortho back on, kind of get it right in the middle there. Same with this one here right in the middle there. So again, what I want to do is break these lines. So I'll draw a circle on the midpoint of this. And then what we'll do is we'll copy that three times using the endpoints of the line. Endpoint. Just to make it easier for us, we could break it. We'll do the endpoint here, endpoint here, and do the endpoint here. We want to be consistent. So do we need them any bigger? Do we think that that would work? I think that's fine for this example. I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim here again. And I'm going to trim here again. Actually, these two could be a little bit tighter, but that's fine. So there's our three line types. So now what we want to do is make a line type file. So we're going to do make line type. Actually, I'll show you on the ribbon. So we'll go back on the ribbon under Express Tools. It's underneath here. It's called Make Line Type. So now we want to call this Ditch Lines. I'm going to save it, and it's going to ask me for the line type name. And let's keep it simple. I'm going to call it Ditch 1. Ditch 1. And then description is Ditch with Solid Arrow. Starting point of the line type definition again. The end point here. The end point here. Select my characters. 1, 2, Three, you'll see down on the bottom it shows up. Ditch one created and loaded. That's awesome. Let's do the same thing for the next two. Now normally I would I would go out to the file and look at it. So I have ditch lines and I could copy it, but you see it's a Unicode there. I don't want to copy that. I do want to change that though. I do want to change that when I save it out just for visual so I know what it is. So let's do make line type again. So up on the Express Tools, under Tools, Make Line Type, and we're, we're going to hit Ditch Lines again. Remember I told you that it's not going to overwrite it. It's just going to append to it. So this one we're going to call Ditch 2, and this is Ditch Open Arrow. 
starting point, is the end point, ending point, is the end point. Select my objects, two, three. Give it a minute to catch up here, and it'll it'll append to that file. So it said ditch two is created. So then we'll do another one for ditch three. Make line type. Select ditch lines again. Save it. Yes. I'm going to call it ditch three. Line type and definition. Ditch with with two arrows. Starting point is the end point of here. The end point of here. I'm going to select my lines again. My characters. Ditch three created. Okay, there's one thing I really want to do. All my line types are in here. If I draw like a circle, I can show you how these all work. I'll offset. I want to make it available for others too. And then what I want to do is go on the home tab. And I think I just want to match the pro. I want to change the line types right now to show you what it is. So you've got ditch one. Ditch two, and ditch three. So how cool is that, that we have three line types that depict ditches in the drawing? The last thing I like to do for housekeeping for, for as a CAD manager is I want to put the special character in there. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to go out to my file, ditch lines, and I'm going to paste this into here. And, and what I need to do now is save this, do a save as, but I need to save this as Unicode. I, I, I like the fact of being able to see exactly what that code is. And by doing that to all three of these, I'll be able to go back into the line type file and actually use that file. So I can do it for this one as well. Copy, right click, open file location. I, I, Notepad works just as effectively as anything else. Paste it in. You have your arrow. That way you can see exactly what it is in your lines. And then when you open a new drawing, all you have to do is actually load this line type file into your new drawing. And as long as you have the style set to line types with the font using the special characters, you're good to go. So that's lesson number two for creating complex line types using special characters. In the next one, part three, I'll get into using shapes and other kinds of things. So thank you.